What's going on, BKBQ Nation? You already know what time it is, man. We are officially here at the Boys and Girls Campus, East Scarborough. It's day one, BKBQ meets Boys and Girls Club. We are so excited for this program. Yep. Man, we're excited for what we're doing in the community. The next generation is about to be on and popping. Man, we're gonna lead them into purpose, lead them into future, lead them into transparency, lead them into everything, man. We're just excited for what's to come. You already know what time it is, man. BKBQ, let's get it. BKBQ, let's get it. Let's go. One Sunday I was at church, I was playing the piano, church had finished and all that stuff, and I was talking to people, and I noticed there's this lady there standing by me, and I was like, hey, do you wanna to talk to me about something? She was like, yes, I absolutely do. So she then began to say, she while she was in church, someone sent her a video of the BKBQ commercial that we recorded downtown 2020, mind you, it's 2022 now. So in 2020, and they said, we gotta get these guys a part of the Boys and Girls Club program. So it was funny because she was sitting in church, she got the video and she's looking at the video, she's looking at me on the piano, looking at the video, looking at me at the piano, she's just like, hey, that guy's at my church right now. So it's funny, church was finished, she came on to me, she talked to me, she said she loved what we were doing and that she was very inspired by everything that we were doing in the community in regards to black kings and black queens and she would love for us to come in and facilitate a program for the Boys and Girls Club with the students from grade six to eight and Long story short, we had a couple meetings, it went well, and here we are today. My name is Onyx Duggan. I work at BGC East Scarborough. I'm the program coordinator for our Youth School Success Initiative program. YSSI is a ethno-specific uh, collaboration between uh, several different agencies across uh, Toronto, BGC East Scarborough being uh, one of those agencies. The aim of uh, YSSI is essentially to get that specific group of kids prepared and ready for high school. You know, just being able to provide support and guidance for young black and indigenous students I think is essential. Having facilitators come in that look like them I think will give them a benefit for their, for their future and you know we're just looking forward to building um, more for next year. When the opportunity was first presented to me I felt good. It was nice to have somebody realize things that we have done before and want that in their program and so I felt good especially because it was in a school setting and I have a background with teaching students and working with children so it just felt like it made sense to me and it was something that I really wanted to do. Let's go and everybody huddle in like this. Let's huddle in like this. Everybody like put your hands up. Put your hands in and on the count of three we're gonna say black king black queen all right and then we're done. All right are we ready? One, two, three, Black King, Black Queen. You guys already know, man. Love you guys. See you guys on Thursday, all right? <laughs> all right, bet. High five it up, high five it up, high five it up, high five it up. So my first official interaction with the kids was, um, honestly, it was amazing uh, just to see kids that like look like you and to know that you're gonna make an impact in some way in their lives. I grew up in Pickering, um, just, just down the road from Scarborough and I didn't have programs like this where it was just all black kids. I was probably the only black kid, maybe two, three of us in the class. So to have a program like this that I could be a part of and impart um, my knowledge and wisdom on their lives was just something where I was like, I love this. And just seeing their, you know, their reaction to us, you know, kind of like who we're, we're sussing each other out, like, who are these guys? But they let us feel like welcome, you know? Uh, they were able to be vulnerable, which was really cool. And you can just tell that they, you know, they wanted to be heard and they, they, wanted, they wanted change for themselves. When I stepped into the classroom for the first time, it was like, Wow, like I have not been in a school setting like this for a minute. And so it kind of felt, you know, I was a little nervous at first. I was like, okay, what are these students thinking about me? How do they feel? You know, I was just trying to get the vibe and, and you know, feel out the room a little bit. And then all of a sudden, our friend Onyx, she says, okay, you guys come and introduce yourself and then do your thing. And so I was like, we're doing something today we were supposed to be hidden like here and not seen and so she called us up and so Joelle and myself looked at Dean and we're like you got this bro 
this is you go in go in you you're the captain today this is this is your thing you got this and so dean went up there and he did his thing we looked at each other and like he really knows what he's doing like we didn't even have to study anything dean got this so it, it was really good to know you know that things were just it just kind of flowed it was such a good time it was it was really great we had conversation with the students and they really blew our minds in that little moment, but it, it was a really good feeling. We're just kind of setting the tone day one for what it's going to be like, getting a feel for the group. And yeah, man, like, we got till June to make dynamic, powerful impact, and it's on, so let's get it going. Honestly, hearing the kids recite the chant for the first time was such a beautiful thing just because just prior to that we had played a game um, where the kids had talked about the negative things people have said about them. Um, a lot in which I I'd resonated with um, as a young child, words like blackie or monkey uh, were some of the kids that the kids were saying. I mean, that's stuff that I heard as a kid that really like stuck me for a long, a long time and I really had to kind of shed the layers on that as I grew up. But to see it in them and to, to know that, you know, I can relate and possibly, you know, affirm them in a, in a positive way, that was a beautiful thing. And I think um, the chant that uh, Dean and Nikki had created was just a beautiful thing to affirm these kids, like, you know, that they're confident, they're proud, they're, they're powerful. Um, these are things I wish I heard as a kid. So seeing their reaction to it and just saying it loud and proud was just, a, uh, it, was, it was unbelievable. When I heard the kids say the chant for the first time, honestly, it felt good. It felt good because it was one of those things where, you know, you know they don't have this kind of culture already in their immediate. And so it was nice for us to bring in something and for them to say it and say it with confidence. They may not already know what it means to them, but at some point in their life, I'm hoping that this is one of those things that stick with them like, oh, Canada, so that they always remember it. So when they're older, they could be like, yo, I learned this. My black is strong. My black is this. And they will say it and mean it and believe it and carry it with them for the rest of their lives. I remember we played the BKBQ commercial. And while we were playing the commercial, the room was silent. So first thing that came to me was, uh, does anybody not care about this? <laughs> like, maybe they're just, maybe they're bored. Like, maybe it's not hitting because I'm used to hearing wows or oh my gosh. But I remember when the video finished, they were just like, wow. <laughs> I was just like, oh, there we go. And then one person said they feel represented. And it hit home to me because I was just like, growing up, I never had anything like this. And, um, for someone that age to say they feel represented means that there's not a lot of true black representation, positive representation in their world right now. So to understand and know that by showing this video, help her to feel represented and, and let her know that this is something that she would love to be a part of one day. Let me know that one, we're doing things and we're heading in the right direction. And with this, we'll actually make a real difference in their lives, man, because it's, it's, it's bigger than just coming together and doing things for our people just because we say we want to, but making real impact on, this, on these kids' lives. And I saw that and felt it in the room that day. Man, when we first got the call to do this and facilitate this program, I was just like, there has to be something that we let these kids say every single day that's along the words of words of affirmation. Like, I needed them to understand and know that they are the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. The lenders are not the borrowers and winners are not quitters, right? So I got together one day with my wife and I was just like, you know what, baby girl, baby girl, we have to do something and write something that these kids could recite every single day until they actually believe it. My black is excellence. I'm black and I'm, black and I'm proud. I'm black and I'm proud. I'm black and I'm proud. I'm black and I'm proud. Yay! <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, hey, yo, high five, oh, what's up? Yo, give me a high five. Let's see, give me a high five. Ah. I'm gonna need you guys to write down 
It doesn't have to be a lot of things. It could be one thing, two things, three things. Something negative that was said about you at any point in your lifetime. I just need us to write that down. If, yeah, it could just be one. It doesn't have to be a lot. The next part of this exercise, this is what I need everybody to do. I need everybody to take their paper up, put the pens down. Take your paper up. Everybody, everybody hold your paper up. Hold it up, hold it up. You're still writing, hold it up. All right, what I need us to do right now, on the count of three, I need us to rip it in as much pieces as we can. But wait, 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 on the count of three. On the count of three, one, two, three, rip it. Rip it, rip it. And I need everybody one by one to come up here and dump it in this bucket right here. All right? Every piece, dump it in this bucket. So let me just read some of the negative comments that were said to these children before I even get into that. So some of the negative comments were, you're shaped like a box, you're soft, you're mean, you got a bad attitude, you're anorexic, and you're ugly. So what happened was we played a game where I, I told them I need them to write down everything negative that was ever said about them in their life. And they didn't have, they didn't know the intentions of this game, so they just started writing. And <laughs> boy, were they writing, right? And when when they were finished writing, I let them read it out loud. And when they read it out loud, I was just like, shoot, you guys are going through this right now, like grade six, grade eight. So what happened was, after they read it out, I was just like, all right, now what I need you guys to do is rip that paper to shreds. So they were ripping, ripping, ripping. I'm like, I'll give you guys five minutes. Five minutes came by, they were still ripping. Some people were just like, no, I gotta rip it all. I was like, I gotta rip it all. I was like, yo, you better go ahead and rip it all. Like, I think it took like 10 minutes just to rip the paper. And then when we were done, I was just like, you know what? I need you guys to take those scraps and throw it into this bucket. So they came, threw it into the bucket. I'm talking about, they took up every little piece. If one little piece fell down, I was like, nah, get that little piece, put that in the bucket, right? So when they did that, I was just like, wow, it, it, I know they felt liberated in some way, shape or form. I know they felt some type of weight lift off of them because they were able to identify what people spoke over them that was not true, right? And, and, and rip it and throw it away. And I think it's very important because kids go through so much stuff. We all go through so much stuff, but it's important that we never take those words and, and, and let it sit on us forever. People could say negative things towards us, but as long as we realize that we are greater than that, we're greater than every negative word that anybody has ever said over our lives, then the, those words will never define you, right? And that was actually a part of the, the chant that I wrote, that you know, certain words and anything will never define you. Failures will never define you. And to see them like at the end of that, make sure they get every single scrap and throw it away. I was like, yes, we're doing our job and I love to see it. So this is what we're gonna do. Before we leave here today, everyone's gonna have a turn to shoot this basketball in the basket, right? How many people here have done something and failed before? How did you feel when you failed? Very bad. Very bad? Okay. All right, so what is, what is something that you tell yourself to keep on going. You can do it? All right, so what if every time you fail, you always told yourself that you suck? Do you think that you'd be able to accomplish your goal? How many people have ever wanted something good, but you didn't get the result that you wanted? Right, okay, so let's say if I tell myself this, I'm gonna make this shot. miss it or make it again you think i'll make it no, no. over time if i keep on telling myself yes. make it, you think i'll make it no. all right so let's do it let's, let's see i'm gonna keep on telling myself i'm gonna make it i'm gonna keep on telling myself i'm gonna make it i'm gonna see if i make it okay all right i'm gonna make this shot bucket clap it up boy dude
Okay, no, okay, no. What if, what if I missed that shot and I told myself I was gonna make it? What would you want me to do? Tell myself I suck or tell myself to keep on trying to go? Keep on trying. Keep on trying to go. Culture, us as black people, we don't really get things as easy in this world, right? And so everything we have to, everything we do, we always have to put in that extra ump. We have to support each other. We're the ones that have to push for each other in this world, right? That's why we have this group right here. We're building a community so that we can work together, build together, create together, design together, do all the great things together to make sure that we can also rise and win. And so today, we're going to do a quick activity just as a representation, just to start that culture within this room right here. And so I know you guys are going to be like, ew, no, I don't want to do it. No, I don't like her. She's not my friend. He's not whatever, whatever, whatever. I understand you're going to say that, but I don't want you to say that. So it's already in the, the back of your mind. Do not say it. We are going to fill each other's buckets. So in our little community right here, everybody put their name in this bucket. So there's a name for everybody to pick out. Everybody is going to pick out a name out of this bucket. When you see the name, please do not say, ew, no, gross, I don't want to say anything about her. She's in grade five, she's not my friend, he's not my friend. I don't want to hear any of it. Keep it to yourself because the moment you say that, you're dipping in their bucket and you're leaving them with a negative impact. So we are to mix up and, um, you know, coming in here, you guys just did the whole I'm black and I'm proud. So I felt like it's best suitable for us to be painting a, a black and proud fist today with the crown that you guys should be wearing on your head at all times. So something with what we do is we combine paint essentially with kind of a form of therapy that's not like where you sit down in a chair. We just actually just talk. That paint night was dope. I had so much fun at that paint night. Some of the younger girls, they wanted me to sit and paint with them, which at first I was like, there's not enough seats. So, you know, I'm not gonna be able to paint with you guys, but I'll watch you. And she was like, no, come on, please sit, just sit and sit. And so it turned out that I actually got a seat right beside her and it worked out perfectly. Although I got paint all over my clothes, at the end of the day, I was able to paint a really dope picture, even though I was kind of like shy about it to show because everybody else's was lit but I still was able to paint a picture and enjoy that moment with the students. And so I was really proud about that. And it was really fun. Shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker. I said shake it like a salt shaker. Whoops. Oh, I guess that's the winning ticket. It said like, I want to be free. <laughs> okay, so we got the winning ticket in our hands. All right, Dee's gonna read the winning ticket. Get your tickets Does ready. Does everybody have a ticket? Put your tickets in the air for me, please. All righty. Yes, 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 yes. Love it, love to see it. All right, if we're ready. Winning ticket number one is 724 You're a winner. If you don't want to claim your prize, that's fine with me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to see the excitement. We found a winner. Yeah? Hey. What's going on, World Jury? You know what time it is, man. Today's a very special day. I'm here at Scarborough Town Center right now with the kids. Shout out to the kids, man. Today is a very special day. A very special day. We're about to go to Foot Locker and run it up. So here's what happened. Here's a bad detail. Every single day before a program begins, I lead an affirmation chant that the kids repeat after me, right? I told the kids, the first person that memorizes that chant will win a pair of shoes. The day came. Three people memorize that bad boy, and we are here right now, about to run it up in Foot Locker. You already know what time it is, man. Let's get it, let's go. Guys, you guys excited? Yeah. You guys excited? You guys about to get some shoes? Yeah. <laughs> guys, armed? <Yeah. laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it, let's go, guys. Ah! <laughs> we got the shoes that they wanted, man. It was a little bit of a hassle and all that stuff, but yo, we did it. They love it. It's super lit right now, man. They're about to rock these shoes tomorrow. I know the whole school about to be literally like, ah, we got new shoes. So, man, well, let's get it, let's go, man. This is what it's all about. It's all about giving back to the next generation, knowing, letting them know that they can accomplish anything they want to if they put their mind to it. And when you do that, you get rewarded for that. And that's exactly what we did here, man. You already know, man, BKBQ Nation. Let's get it, let's go. Okay, 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 okay. 
All right, guys, man, so that's a wrap, man. It was a success. Everybody got shoes. How you guys like your shoes? Yeah. Uh, uh, we got, we got, okay, okay. We, we got, we got Team Puma. We got Team Journey. And we got another Team Journey, man. I know they're about to rock this shoes so hard in school. Show off on all them kids and all that stuff. But yo, you guys pay nice, all right? <laughs> like, you already know what time it is, man. It's BKBQ Nation, YSSI, Boys and Girls Club. You already know what it is. We out. Peace. Let's go. Growing up, a lot of my teachers were um, either white or just um, another race other than black. And um, honestly, I feel like it's easier to talk to someone of the same race because they understand the struggle more. Um, and just being surrounded by um, adults like that and even kids like that, it just made um, me open up more. Before I came to YSSR, I wasn't really friends with anyone that I was like at school with and then I made friends here and yeah they're just really good people I like hanging out with my friends. The reason I like the chant so much is because I feel it's true. My black is proud, my black is strong and it's beautiful. It's just true. When I say I'm black and I'm proud I'm saying that I'm a black king. I embrace black beauty and I love black queens. My name is Sylvia and I like to play sports. My favorite sports is basketball and track, but my favorite is track because it's relaxing. At YSSI, I learned to be nicer to people now because you never know when you'll see them again or if you'll need their help in the future. I think it's important to be part of a program made for black students because it's a safe place where we could go knowing that no one's gonna look at us or watch us as if we're criminals or we're gonna do something bad. My name's Kira, and a personality trait I'm confident about is probably my uh, creativity. The tools I learned are probably a faster way of solving problems, whether that's a math question or a conflict between two of my friends. Because um, going through life, there's a lot of obstacles you need to face, especially when you're a person of color. And it kind of just helps to be able to solve those problems faster so I can continue and move on with life. Knowing how to solve those problems prepares me more for the future. The chant makes me feel powerful. It makes me feel like I can express myself. It makes me feel like I'm seen, I'm there, I'm heard. Like just yelling it out makes me feel good. Like honestly, and this might be embarrassing to say, but you know, I'm gonna do me. But if someone um, like racist came up to me and I had an interaction with them, honestly, I'd probably go home and like yell into my pillow with the chant because it just, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm me, I'm black, I'm here, I'm proud. My name is Gabriella, and one personality trait that I have is maybe I'm a good listener. I listen to people when like they have problems or if they need my help, I'm always there to help them. The chat makes me feel very empowered in a way because when, like I don't really say those kind of stuff about myself because I don't know why, but like when I say it, I feel like I can do anything basically. Like, I don't know, like that I am love and I am confident. Like I really want to be confident. Like I want to be a confident person. So I, when I say it, I really keep it in mind because everything I say, I want to do it and I don't want to just say it because I'm saying it. My name is Kaden and the personality trait about me is that I'm funny and I like making people smile because when I see people smile, it makes me feel happy and joy that like, I'm making someone's day feel better. The skills and tools that I learned at YSSI that will benefit me in the future is to control my anger issues and pay attention more in class. Guys, so today is the official day we shoot the BKBQ chant, man. It's gonna be an official commercial. We are so excited. So at the top of every session, we do this thing called the BKBQ chant. I say something, they recite it back. And since it was so dynamic and so powerful, we decided to put it on video for the whole entire world to see. So guys, stay tuned. Today is about to be crazy. It's about to be up. Man, I love it. Black kings, black queens, let's get it. Black King, Black Queen, all 
on three. One, two, three. Black bean, black bean. Let's get it. Guys, it is official. We did it. It took a little bit longer than I expected, but it was on and popping in there. The kids came out. They were a little bit tired at the end, but we got it done. Guys, the BKBQ chant is officially done and it is coming to a screen near you. I'm so excited for you guys to see it, man. Um, it's a very powerful chant, man. It's a, it's a chant that is declaring affirmations over the youth, man, letting them know that they are the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, a lender and not a borrower, a winner and not a quitter, and that they're Black is beautiful, strong, and proud, man. It's amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Stay tuned, man, because I'm telling you, you're gonna get goosebumps. You already know what time it is, man. BKBQ Nation, let's go! I am love. I am love. I am confident. I am confident. And I was made with divine purpose. I was made with divine purpose. Everything I desire, I attract. Everything I desire, I attract. I overcome my fears by following my biggest dream. I overcome my fears by following my biggest dream. I am more than enough. I am more than enough. I have the power to be the difference. I have the power to be the difference. And create the change I want to see. I create the change I want to see. I am the head and not the tail. I am the head and not the tail. Above and not beneath. Above and not beneath. A lender and not a borrower. A lender and not a borrower. A winner, not a quitter. A winner, not a quitter. My failures will never define me. My failures will never define me. Because I will rise above. Because I will rise above. And be everything I was created to be. My black is proud. My black is proud. My black is strong. My black is strong. My black is beautiful. My black is excellent. My black is excellent. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. I'm black and I'm proud. I'm black and I'm proud. Put your fist in the air one time. Black king, black queen on three. One, two, three. Black king, black queen. Get it.